Once upon a time, there was a faraway planet. A planet like ours. And there was an adult. A storm raged on his planet. A storm in the hearts of the people. A virus haunted the people, the virus of fear. The adult felt a heavy burden upon his shoulders. How could one take this fear away from the people of his world? But the old knowledge of these secrets was lost. One night, when he fell asleep with a heart full of sorrow and grief, a strange dream entered his spirit. He was dreaming of a girl. A girl who found a magic shell high up in the Andes of Peru. A magic shell that could whisper. The dreaming adult could not hear the whisper, but But the blonde girl did. A sage from ancient times lived in the shell, and the adult remembered almost the ancient secret. Dreams are ten a penny the adult stated the next day, but the dream was unwilling to let go of him. On that day, the adult spoke to his friend's children in Athens, in distant Greece. Say, Alpida, what do you lose when you are no longer a child? Your smile. We are playing more, and we have no difficult tasks. Things are more simple. When you grow older, you lose your excitement, and you try to find it back. This is what we're trying now. And the adult decided to find the ancient secret to save his world. The upcoming night he closed his eyes and the mysterious wolf took him into the realm of dreams.
The blonde girl was already waiting for him and led him to a mysterious forest woman. And the forest woman gently spoke to him as one speaks to a child. Ich habe lange Zeit gebraucht, um zu verstehen. It took a long time for me to understand that all children, so also you, are good the way they are. And not only good, but perfect. Then, the adult met a magical child in his dream. My name is Truen, and I live in Cotland. And he remembered, almost, the ancient secret. Bye-bye, nice to meet you. Good time. When the wolf brought him back into his world, he muttered to him, You will wander seven nights. The adult's heart felt dark and heavy the next morning as the virus of fear raged in his world and it almost seemed as if they were all lost. The second night, a mysterious snowy owl led him into the magic realms. He dreamed of Lake Titicaca, about girls who went to school there. Not as students, but as teachers. And the adults in the magic realm were taught by their children The lessons of walking barefoot and magical play. They learned to talk to plants and animals and they learned to dream. Diving deep into the third night, the adult was guided by a magical snake on his journey. And he met a magical and powerful seer who gently spoke to him like to a child. Yes, you can see and feel things inside of you that others may not see or feel. Energies and even colors. Have trust in yourselves. Have trust in what you feel inside of you, even when others don't understand that. And the adult felt that he was getting closer to opening the door to the hidden secret. The fourth night surrounded him and an eagle spread out his wings to take him into the magic realm of dreams. And there he met a sad, lonely unicorn. 
Why are you so sad? he asked. Nobody believes in me anymore, sighed the unicorn. Suddenly the adult heard a low threatening hum. He looked up at the sky. Troops of giant insects masked the sky, watching over the realm of dreams. And his heart was full of grief again, because the insects stole every dreamer's imagination. What can we do? The adult asked the blonde girl. Well, dance, she laughed. Play, laugh. Then they realize they have no power over you and vanish. And the mysterious forest girl invited the adult deep into the woods, into the realm of the wilderness, into the realm of secrets. And there they danced and sang and played. And when the adult looked up, the threatening insects were gone. During the fifth night, the adult and the blonde girl followed the call of a gigantic tree. And they met a magic tree whisperer, and the tree whisperer gently spoke to the adult as to a child. Glaube an deinen Traum, so wie dieser Mammutbaum, der Believe in your dream. This giant sequoia tree has grown from a little seed in only 160 years. And in that way, you can grow your dream and bring it to life. This is my message for you. Believe in your dream. Dare the first steps, and others will cross your path to support you. Following the path into the sixth night, the adult was led by a leopard. And there he met a wondrous sandpiper, and the sandpiper gently spoke to him as to a child. You see, when we were little, we used to compare ourselves to each other a lot. We used to be so concerned with who's good at this and who's best at that and that sometimes I'm good at something, sometimes I'm not good enough and it kind of hurt who's good and who isn't. Oh dear. Well, here's what I, it took me a long time to learn and it's made me a lot happier and I hope that this helps you too. Everybody, you, Everybody you know, me, we all have at least one, sometimes more, very special gift. A gift that you're born with, that you've come to share with the world. And that's what makes you unique. And the adult was reminded of his own adventures in life. And he was reminded of the gift that was unique to him and that he would share with the world. And almost, yes almost, he held the ancient secret in his hands. The secret that would save his world. As the seventh night started its circle, the wolf appeared again and took the adult into the magical world of dreams. Ooh. 
There he witnessed a sacred ceremony. A ceremony of the guardians of ancient wisdom. Needless to say, the blonde girl was there too, and finally the adult understood what they had lost. At home, in his world, they had forgotten what it was like to be a child. The adults had lost their children's hearts. The children of the magic world turned their heads and looked at him with big eyes. Finally, someone had revealed the ancient secret. Now the adults would understand that they had to find their own children's hearts again and take very, very good care of them. Can you imagine what happened the next morning? The adult gently awakened the children's hearts of the inhabitants of his planet and the virus fear was defeated. In just one day, the so-called grown-ups learned to let their children guide them again, to trust their little big hearts. And the adult became a dreamer, a man-child, and everything, everything turned out fine. <laughs>